Oh, hey folks. Today I want to talk about my Saddleman heated road sofa. I put over 10,000 miles on this seat, so it's time for a review. So check it out. All right, I want to talk a little bit about the seat before we get to the pros and cons. Uh, as you can see, this is a lattice stitch. There is also options of getting a pillow top and a carbon fiber. Uh, I also purchased the, uh, as you can see, I purchased the backrest for the rider and the sissy bar pad, which both obviously are lattice stitch. Uh, the material makeup is a comfort foam and gel, and you'll also get that material in the rider backrest and also in the sissy bar pad. Now, like I said before, this is a heated seat. None of these pads or backrest is heated in case you were wondering. Uh, you don't need any extra mounting for the rider backrest. It just pops right out and then, you know, pops right in. You adjust accordingly. There's a adjustment screw here and get it to the angle that you want it. Now, let's go ahead and compare this to the stock seat. Now looking at this from a side angle, you can see the reach, meaning from the tip of the seat all the way back to the lumbar region is the same. You can get an extended reach, which would set you back two inches farther. So something to think about for you tall riders, I am 5'10", I was happy with where the reach was and I wanted to keep that the same. Something else I wanted to show you here from a different angle, as you can see, the lumbar region here is much smaller than the lumbar region on the Saddleman Road Sofa. It's much taller here and wider. So I went back and forth about whether to get the rider backrest. Uh, a lot of research showed you know, some people didn't get it because they felt like this was enough. And I honestly, I'd have to agree with that. I, but I don't regret buying it. I'm an avid long distance rider. And one of the trips I did this past year was almost 6,000 miles. And this backrest helped me out a lot. If you're somebody who rides locally or, you know, maybe a 200 mile trip, I, you'll be just fine without this, but I can say I really enjoy it. I'm glad I bought it. It's definitely worth uh, its weight in gold. Before I forget, also another difference on between the stock is this is the saddleman seat is a little bit more narrower, uh, so I, you don't have that feeling of you know your thighs pushing out, and maybe it might affect how uh, you your feet are planted on the ground when you stop. But that's one, another reason why I really love this seat. Um, so let's go ahead and get started with the pros and the cons. I'll start with the pros first. Uh, first and foremost, I absolutely love this seat. Uh, like I said, I put over 10,000 miles on this seat. I've been through all different types of weather, over 100 degree weather, um, cold, rain, hail i've seen just about everything and uh it's it's really uh stood the test of time uh the more miles i put on the seat the more comfortable it got i uh, really happy um uh, you, you heard me talk about the lumbar region i absolutely love this i feel like i, I fit real snug in the seat it's, it's super comfortable uh I, I can't say enough about it to be honest with you now, as far as the heat, I have never got past the low setting. Uh, I was in situations where I was up in the Colorado San Juan Mountains and it got really chilly up in there and it, it low worked fine. It, it felt fantastic, um, super comfortable. Definitely never let me down, just another added comfort to the seat and it's been great. 
So let's get to the cons. I'm not going to have a whole lot uh, to say about from the con side. Um, the one thing that I really don't like would probably be the rain factor, or I should say the moisture factor. Uh, one thing I noticed when it got wet, it retained some of that water. And so what happens, you end up having a wet butt. So you're, you know, you got a pair of jeans on and it's dry out and you got to set down on the seat. And next thing you know, you got a wet spot on your butt. So it does come with a rain cover. So you could put the rain cover on and then set on top of that rain cover and you'll be just fine. Um, that will, however, obviously keep it, take it longer to dry out from what I can tell, but it is uh, the best option. So uh, that's really my only con to it other than, you know, you probably saw a previous video where it's, it's not a plug and play. You know, I, I feel like it should be plug and play from factory uh, and not having to buy an, an extra wiring harness, which will cost you $30 plus you got to pay taxes and shipping. So that would be the other one. Um, all in all, I really love this seat. I highly recommend it to anybody out there. This is my personal opinion. If you have an opportunity to demo this seat, um, at say a Harley dealership or, or, or wherever, uh, Take it out for a demo. Uh, you can actually demo a seat for up to two weeks, or at least that was the option I was given uh, at a local Harley dealership, uh, which is actually pretty nice as long as everything is is um, still uh, in the condition that you you know you left the store with that you can return it. Um, and there, there's really no such thing as a demo. I know I mentioned that for in previous uh, video. You actually have to buy the seat in order to demo it. It's kind of a, you know, deposit, you could say. So if, it, if you decide to keep it, you just, you know, you don't, you got the receipt, you bought it, you know, you just, it's yours or you can return it and get your money back. But um, I absolutely love the seat. Again, I can't say enough about it. Uh, I would, would I buy another Saddleman seat in the future if I buy another bike? or a second bike or a new bike, absolutely. Based on what I experienced with this seat, absolutely happy with it. Now, before I end the video, I do wanna mention this product by Chemical Guys. It is a leather protectant. Um, there is a YouTube channel, Warbeard. He's also on Instagram, go check him out. Uh, he got me interested in this. I saw that he had uh, put some on his Saddleman and it really helps, you know, with, with water resistance. It's not waterproof. It will protect the, the bike, um, UV rays, repels dirt, repels moisture. So I usually put a couple coatings on twice a year. And so far it's really helped. Um, so something else to help with the uh, repelling that water that I'd mentioned before. So, you know, you don't have to get this product. I'm not sponsored by Chemical Guys. I'm not sponsored by Saddleman. This, I bought this, both of these out of my own pocket. Um, but if you have any questions about the seat, any concerns, just let me know anything about this product. Uh, I'm, I'm more than happy to help you uh, make that decision if you're thinking about getting this seat. I appreciate you watching. I hope you got something out of this video. Uh, again, leave any questions you might have in the comments. I promise I'll answer them and I appreciate you watching. I want to thank all the subscribers that I've uh, had so far. I'm up to over 600. I really appreciate it. Until next time, please like, share, and subscribe. And always, rip the ride. See ya.